In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 19, uh, the Apostle Paul says, What is our hope? Are, are not ye even ye at the appearing of Jesus Christ? You are our joy and crown of rejoicing. So Paul says one of the aspects of hope for the believer is the certainty of meeting again those whom we have had the joy of influencing for God in this world. Now, they say you can't take it with you, but you can send it on ahead. But how do you send it on ahead? Well, you send it on ahead by investing in people who are going there. And so as we invest in the lives of people around us, either in the gospel or in ministry, as we seek to enrich the lives of others, we are, as it were, transferring wealth, treasure from this world to the next. And so the apostle says, you are our hope, our joy, our crown of rejoicing at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Um, Samuel Rutherford lived in a little town called Anwath in Scotland. And in that long epic poem composed by Anne Ross Cousin from the correspondence of Samuel Rutherford, uh, there is one little uh, stanza uh, in, in the great 19th stanza hymn, Emmanuel's Land. It reads, Oh, if one soul from Anwath meets me at God's right hand, my heaven will be two heavens in Emmanuel's land. And that's what the Apostle Paul was getting at. Part of our hope is the joy of seeing those there. And the scripture says that we should use the mammon of unrighteousness to win friends of the world now that they might receive us someday into everlasting habitation. So the point of that is leave a decent tip when you leave a track. <laughs> like leave a generous tip. You, you, it won't kill you to leave, you know, five or ten dollars but it may encourage that person to actually read the track. And if you do, by using funds, using material funds, which you can't take to heaven, it's possible to make friends for Jesus out of this world. And someday when you arrive on shore heaven, they'll be there to greet you and say, thank you for inviting me here, right? And so one aspect of our hope, says the scripture, is the hope of seeing God's people in glory.